Yum, yum! Hello, this is Yazan Malkosh from Pixel Fondue. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to create a on-off toggle switch inside of Modo uh, using some uh, locator and a command that goes along with it. Um, let's start off by adding a locator and uh, giving it a shape that's custom because we're all about custom at Pixel Fondue. And uh, now that we have it in there, let's give it a task. We want to control the visibility of the light, for example. First thing we're going to do is go to the channel tab, add a channel, <clears throat> and we'll call this on off. And you want the type to be Boolean, which is basically either a zero or a one in terms of value. It's an off or an on. And default of value of zero is fine. Oh, nothing happened. That's fine as well. Well, we actually we want to add that um, that channel to my schematic here, the setup window. Go to the light and let's go out to display. Now you'll notice if I go to the drop down menu here, um, <clears throat> I have four different states. So how can a Boolean operation uh, change these? Well, by default, it'll only go to zero default and yes, which is basically yes and um, well, like maybe uh, mostly yes and a yes and not do any of these uh, other ones. So what we're going to do is add a conditional statement that will then give us the output uh, input of any of these values, but the output would only be two, which is zero and one. Um, so let's get started with that. So we want to select that channel, add it over here. So obviously, like I said, if I put that in there and I go to the channel here, and I can change it by just clicking here, nothing is happening. Uh, which is not what I want, but that's fine. Uh, the next thing I want to do is first add the command. So for this to work as a button, it needs to have an actual um, command attached to it, and that command is item dot channel space add the channel name, which is on off space question mark plus. This will toggle through the different um, boolean. Uh, basically, this is. Actually, incremental uh, value just keeps on going up and up in the channel. Uh, but in this case, what I wanted to do is just since it's only zero and one, it just keeps jumping between zero and one. Press enter should work. I can check that by clicking on my channels here, looking at the bottom, and just clicking here. True, false, true, false. Nothing's happening with the light, but that's fine. Next over here is going to add a. Uh, conditional logic statement. So if uh, A is equal to B, put that in here, disconnect this, stick it to the output, and then put this one into value A. And I'll kind of walk you through the logic of this, even though this is not the point of this specific video. A is equal to B. I'm going to set if A is equal to B, which means basically if A, which is 0, is equal to B, 0, just output the true value, which is 0. And in this case, if this is basically off, um, keep this light yes on. That's fine. Um, if false, present value uh, a false value. If I, I can't keep it to value B because I can only have two numbers here, 0 and 1. And, I, I, and in this case, I'm actually dealing with 0, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, but what I'll do is, if this is, uh, z if this is not 0, then output the value of in this case, 2, which means if I click it now, it'll toggle between visible by default or no and hides children. Um, and that is basically my toggle switch. Pretty nifty, huh? And useful. Uh, I've built it for things like Slick, for example, to control visibility of controls here, muting and soloing the lights. Pretty helpful in kind of getting all these controls down to a simple click instead of a channel hall, which will give you something like that, and you have to slide it and you know from zero to one. It doesn't make too much sense. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoy it.